by Solbert Sly. Liverpool clip to the far pole. Oh my God! Shut! Oh, one nil! Oh, oh my God! That is filth, filth from the Ogo. One nil Liverpool, and oh my God! So the ball's dinked over, over everybody's head to the left side of the penalty area. The Ogo Jota catches it on the shopping trolley and absolutely hoofs it top bins. Oh, I watched this all day, all day, every day. An absolute delicioso strike. Look at this. That's just filthy. That is filth. Oh, oh lads, come on now. That is redonkulous. What a ball from Trent. And then that volley from Diogo Jota can only be described as footballing filth. It, oh my God. Left foot as well, by the way. Left foot. That is... Oh. Honest lot. La 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 la. Honest lot. La 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 la. Did I just moan? Dude, I, I don't know what noises come out of my face when you see something like that. Do you know what I mean? Um, mop up on aisle four. Do you know it's nuts? If you, if, did you see the goal? I mean, oh my God. Oh, here it is again. Let's watch it again. Look at it. Boing! If you scored that goal in FIFA, you'd be telling your mates that the game's rigged. There's no way anybody can score that goal. That is absolutely insanity. Left foot as well. Like, oh my God. And it's not even past the watershed yet. Do you know what I mean? Porn is on TV and it's not even past the watershed. Now, if you've brought your youngster or your young one to that game for the first time and they see the ogre doing that, they're going to be loving football. There's no way you bring your kid to your first Liverpool game, they see that and they're not instantly in love with football forever. That is the type of goal that you, you wait a long time to see better, honestly. Phenomenal. By the way, we've got 4,555 people in the chat for a pre-season friendly at 1 o'clock in the afternoon on a Saturday. Thank you all so, so much. Now, we can finally say, better than Figo, don't you know, for a goal like that. Du, 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 du. Oh, it's Sunday, yeah. <laughs> Fair point, Carl. Fair point. It is Sunday. Yeah, that's right. I just I just assume half 12, my body goes, it's Saturday, fuck TNT. <laughs> You're right. Sorry. Salah. To Lucho. Lucho. 2-0. Lucho. Woo! 2-0. Top bins. Lucho with another wonderful goal. Cuts inside and just buries it. That's what we want from Lucho this season. Again, great football all around. And it is Liverpool 2, Sevilla 0. Luis Diaz with the goal. And it was a great goal. So Diogo initially wins the ball. Plays it into the left channel to Lucho. Lucho squares up the defender. Cuts inside and buries it. That defender is going to be having ginger nightmares for ages now. Lucho doesn't care though. He's buried it. And it's Liverpool 2. Sevilla nil. That was delicious. Two wonderful goals today so far. You're telling me now Martin Zubamendi is not sitting there at home watching this going. I'll tell you what he's doing right now. He's pulling down the roller blinds so he doesn't have to look at the mountains. Because he knows. He knows. Pop world. Nabsies. That's what his future holds. Oh, what a ball into the right channel. Go on. Oh, ladies and gentlemen. Lucho on the double. Liverpool 3, Sevilla 0. Beautiful build-up goal. Great ball by Dominic Soboslai. Waited, waited, waited till the perfect time. Rolled it into the path of Lucho, who passes it into the open goal. It is Arne Slot's Liverpool 3, Sevilla 0. And this is a masterclass in attacking football from Arne Slot's side. Look at this. Brilliant decision making from Dom. Takes the keeper and the defender out of it. Plays it into Lucho. 
Comes from a long ball up the top. Beautiful bit of hold up play. And that's it then. Hold up play from Salah was amazing. It allows Dom to run into the space. Once Dom's in the space, it's all about his decision making. He gets it spot on. Rolls it into Lucho. Taps it into the goal. Excellent. Mohamed Salah. Dominic Soboslai. Lucho Diaz. All of them. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Wow. Worth getting up a half 12 for. I'm excited now. And we still have another one and a half games to look at today. Oh, good goal from Sevilla. 3-1. 3-1. Goal for Sevilla. Nothing Yaros could really do about that. It was a curler. See, it's the ginger boy. It's coming back to haunt us again. A curler into the far corner. Yaros with an outstretched arm. Couldn't do anything about it. But it was a good finish. And it's Liverpool 3, Sevilla 1. Let's have a look at this. So a couple of missed challenges there from Gravenberg and Trent. And then the player plays the ball inside. And after that, it's just a very good finish from uh, Peke. Costas cross in. Cleared away. Strike. Golazzo. Trey Neone. Ladies and gentlemen. The young man has arrived. Costas puts a cross in. It is headed away by the severe defence. It breaks on the edge of the box to young Trey Neone. Just turned 17 years of age. Puts his laces through the ball. Buries it into the corner. Ladies and gentlemen, Trey Neone, welcome to the club. Wow. Costas with the cross in. Cleared away. And then there's Trey. Boom. Look at that. Tackle coming flying in on him. But he only had eyes for the ball. Kept his knee over the top of it. Drilled it low and hard. Look at this. Bang. Beautiful. Beautiful Trey. What a preseason this young man has had. And then he caps it off with a fine goal as well. And showed tremendous bravery, by the way, there. Because it was a Sevilla player coming straight at him. Knee over the top of the ball. Down. Any young kids watching, look at that technique. That's how you strike a ball. And it is now Liverpool 4, Sevilla 1. Now, somebody in the chat predicted 4-1 earlier on. I can't remember who it was, but I definitely remember seeing it. So, well done. I'm so happy for Neone. That's That's outstanding. Um, you can see why we worked so hard to bring him in from Leicester City. And I guess if that's what the likes of Bobby Clark and that are up against, maybe Slot's already seen enough in the only to know that he is that next generation. Maybe him by Chechich in the future. Uh, Jamzy said, Craig, as this is pretty much a strong squad, how's Slot ball and do you think he can become bigger than Jurgen? Oh, the bigger than Jurgen thing is, is a big ask. Um, but I think Slot can deliver us a league title. Might not be in his first season, but honestly, I've said it since we signed Slot as our head coach. He didn't come here to make up the numbers. He didn't come here to be a sacrificial lamb. He came here because he believes he can win. And that's why when the, your Glenn Johnsons of this world and your Michael Owens and a few others um, have been saying, oh, tough job after Jürgen, you know, destined to fail. No, I don't never believe that about Slot. 